All right, so here we are back at my workbench, and we have a Weed Eater Featherlight FX26 Extreme uh, 25cc engine. It does say 16-inch cut there, but as you can see, it's just an engine, so there's obviously nothing to cut. Um, on these uh, newer style carburetors, they do have the high-low adjustment screws like usual, but they're not really screws. They're not flatheads or Phillips or anything you can adjust with regular tools. They're uh, like slotted uh, chunks in there. You need a $30 tool to adjust them to. So I was online looking at tools. Uh, I was thinking about just buying one anyway and sucking it up and getting one. Uh, but then I came across a YouTube video of somebody who took one of these electrical connectors and shoved it in the end of a screwdriver. And it works fine for him, so I tried it, and it worked fine for me. So, you know, a couple cents for an electrical connector. I have a whole drawer of them and all that. So, now I don't need to buy a $30 tool. And if you're watching this and have the same uh, weed eater, you don't have to buy one either. Like I said, it wasn't my original idea. There's another guy on YouTube that showed me. So, give him the credit for that. But, anyways, uh, I took apart the carburetor yesterday and just cleaned the crap out of everything. So it's all nice and shiny and spiffy and new and all that in there. You can see the gas floating around in there. If we hold it upside down here, uh, a lot of these uh, tanks leak and the caps get old and the seals get worn out. But holding it upside down, even shaking it, and there's no fluid coming out. So we do have a good seal on that, and it's still ventilating properly. We have a plastic air filter box, which has a single clip to hold it in place. So no screws or anything to deal with that. The air filter is not new, but it's not dirty. It's just slightly discolored from being used. Uh, we have our three selectable positions. We got run, half choke, and choke, or full choke. And if we look inside, we'll see exactly what that does. It actually restricts airflow, so we got run. Half choke is restricting a little bit of airflow, and full choke is restricting a lot more airflow. So that increases the, uh, the fuel-to-air ratio. It adds more fuel into the mixture to help start. So we're going to pop this uh, filter back in. It's already warmed up because I've been uh, adjusting the carburetor and tuning it all in and stuff. So we're just going to leave it on run. We have the primer ball, which you can see is not cracked in, or discolored or chipped or, you know, or anything else like that. It's actually a good bulb still. So push it a couple times. And I'm going to set the camera down and start it right up. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to do my best to show you, but I'm filming this on a phone. Nothing with a tripod or anything. So, if you can't see it, at least you'll hear it. So I pushed the primer bulb a few times, set it to the run position, and I'm just going to pull it. So as you can see, it does run, it revs up, it uh, kill switch works. Uh, it works actually very nicely, and you know, if uh, you had a broken engine on your weed whacker or something and still had a good shaft and all that for it, this would be a good fit for you. I'm sure it would be good for a little uh, go-kart or something, I don't know. It's a kind of a small engine, so it'd be a pretty small go-kart. But, you know, it's just a good engine. So, gonna have to figure out something to do with it.